Hey guys, it's the Bat. I'm back with um, this final row of comics that I picked up. I also picked up recently some more books, and I'm going to add them with these to um, finish all this off. Starting with The Brave and the Bold. At one time, DC had stopped production of the regular size comic books, and they had moved into making all the books in digest form. Uh, it didn't last very long, but the books that they made are, are highly collectible, and I try to grab them whenever I see them if they're in pretty good shape. This is The Brave and the Bold, issue number 20, um, 26, and um, it's a great Jim Apparel cover with a host of characters that are in the book. You got Shining Knight, Dead Man, I see uh, Viking Prince, uh, a couple of other ones I do not know. Batman, all the Batman animated books, I, like I said, I try to pick them up. They're harder and harder to find, and they're extremely hard to find and in really good condition. Because a lot of times, children bought them, you know, fairly overlooked by the adults. Um, and, but you can find uh, stashes of them where somebody turns in an old collection or a store runs out, you know, goes out of business and another store buys their stock. And they have a lot of these um, type of books in their overflow. Uh, this one, The Batman Strikes, I like it for the pose of Batman and Catwoman. And this is issue number six. I also, also picked up issue number nine with Batman and the Joker. I picked this up just for the cover. I, I thought it was a fantastic cover of um, Leonard um, Nimoy. DeForest Kelly and um, William Shatner, um, Bones, Kirk, and Spock for uh, the movie special of Star Trek V, The Final Frontier. Very beautiful cover. Another one I picked up for the cover, Wonder Woman 77, issue number 3. Beautiful Linda Carter cover that I picked up. Inhumans. Number nine, Inhumans, number eight, beautiful cover. Now, this one fooled me for a second. I was like, oh, my gosh, I can't believe this book is in, in, in the dollar bin. And I was like, I think I got something. Then I started looking at it, going up, and then when I saw that, I was like, ah, oh, heck with it. This is not the one. There, this book, if you have the first printing of this that was, I think, was just printed in England, um, it's worth a lot of money. Because at the time this book was printed, it was a recalled book because it showed um, Superman as a baby with the babysitter getting into a microwave and a microwave being turned on. But, I mean, if that's what uh, got the book banned, what about the other stuff? The boulder over top of him in the crib and, like, a whole bunch of stuff that uh, that was showing what could be done to this baby. But, apparently, they had a change of mind, and they finally reprinted the book a couple of times, from what I gather. And um, this is the Elseworld um, version of DC Comics Presents, issue number one. From um, when this book come out in 2012. Yeah. I was like, man, I think I got something. When I got home, I was like, oh, okay. Still a good book, though. Uh, Jenna Jameson, Shadowhunter. I found that. Issue zero. Now, don't laugh now, because I know I got a lot of people who, who frown upon these type of books, but for a dollar, I'm picking them up. Barbie, number one. And the reason I'm picking them up, Barbie, number ones, are $15 books. Barbie Fashion, number ones, picked up two copies of that. $15 books, they were $15. So, definitely had to pick them up. Now, Walmart, I haven't been really buying a lot of Walmart books lately, but I, I did pick up um, the packs, the Marvel packs, and inside they had this one, uh, Walmart brand version of Avengers number 27, dealing with the re uh, rebirth of Star Brand, Captain Marvel uh, second printing, 
for issue number four. Nothing really to holler at. This one, Civil War II, Zero, uh, the second printing of that. A variant of Thor, number seven, which I, I really don't like. I think it's kind of ugly, you know, but it is what it is. An Original Sin variant for issue number one. But what I like, it had um, X-Force on the front. X-Force number one Walmart um, copy. And I went and got some of the DC 100 pages. I found Beyond the Unknown, which this book is kind of hot. Uh, I suppose be the first appearance of a character. I don't know who it is. Um, also, pick this up. Crisis on Infinite Earths, another hot book, issue number one. And I found issue number two with The Flash. Now, they do have uh, the comic book versions. And what differentiates the comic book version from the Walmart version is that they have different covers. But the interiors are exactly the same. All right. I don't know. I think this is Russian. I'm not sure. But I found this at the comic book shop and I couldn't let it go. Um, Batman Batman Adventures issue number one. I, I just couldn't let it go. Uh, got it for $5. I wonder if I can... Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's better. Yep, I got it for $5. I also picked this one up. Couldn't let this one go. This comes in one of those... Um, uh, Gift boxes or whatever. Uh, Batman Adventures number one. Cool looking Funko Pop Batman. I'm tilt it a little this way and get the glare off of it. Beautiful book. Sonic is hot right now, so I found this in the um, five dollar bins. It's got two books: uh, Sonic and Knuckles on this side and. Sonic and Knuckles, some kind of adventures. Both of them are issue number ones. I didn't take them out of their main package and just put them into a, a Mylar bag together. Everything is still intact. I almost opened it up and I got to thinking about it. The books are fine. I'm leaving them alone. Uh, Wizard Half for um, Sin City, just another night. Treehouse of Horror. Simpsons Annual from the year 2000. I had to pick this Alex Ross Power Girl. Well, it's really the, the JSA, but I like the Power Girl in, in Liberty Bell. I think it's a good picture. The beginning of John Burns' run on Wonder Woman, issue 101. The fifth printing of Justice League, issue number one, Jim Lee cover. Harley's Little Black Book, uh, Justice League number 47. This is the uh, black and white print, Jim Lee. Green Lantern number 18. This is a sought after book. Uh, appearance of, um, I got a header on the tip of my tongue. I can't get it. Uh, <laughs> golly day. Here we go, having brain freeze. Star Sapphire. Mm, mm, mm. A print, uh, appearance of Star Sapphire. And when this book came out, I don't know if it had a low print run or whatever, but uh, the book is fairly hot. And the one after that one, issue number number 19. Picked up Fantastic Four, 312, crossover with um, X Factor. Moon Knight, issue number two, with a guest appearance of, with Spider-Man. NYX, number one. I never had this issue, so I picked it up. I think that's a Middleton cover. Let's see, I found another copy. Of Batman Dark Knight, issue number three. First appearance of White Rabbit. Beautiful Finch cover. This book is hot. 
JSA number one. First appearance of a, a, a bunch of characters in this book. Cyclone. Uh, I can't remember who the other ones. Um, I think Sarge Steele. Uh, I'm not too sure of the other ones. But, um, excuse me, this book is I um, pretty much sought after for right now. Marvel Comics Presents number 72, Wolverine Weapon X. Pick up another copy of that. I'm surprised how this book just does not, I mean, it's worth something, but not much. But this is the origin of Wolverine as far as um, when he got his uh, animanium and what he went through. And I'm, and it's got Barry Windsor Smith art. I just don't get it. I, I just don't get it. This book should be way more than what it is. Uh, I just don't understand that. This is pretty hot going on right now with um, speculation of Loki and the time variance authority or alliance or whatever it is um, coming up in, uh, I think, the Winter Soldier Falcon series or whatever one of them Disney shows is coming out. This is uh, Mighty Thor uh, 371 and Thor 372. Here's another book that I find, I mean, all the time. I don't I don't care what's going on. There's always a Ghost Rider number 21 in there. And that's I think the first appearance of who will become vengeance. Uh Secret Invasion number one, another book that's pretty hot right now. Dealing with uh anticipation of this book, parts and pieces of it happening in uh, the MCU movie verse. I was real happy to get this book, Spider Man Adventures number eight, um, with Spider Man in the uh, black costume. But it's got a couple of creases up here um, that uh, kind of mar the book a little bit. But other than that, I'm, I'm still happy to have it. And I got a better copy of Spider-Man Adventures number, is that 10? Or, yeah, issue number 10 with Venom. And found some DC Universe books. Um, Batman number 534. Beautiful Kelly Jones cover. Superman number 74, fourth printing, DC Universe. Superman number 19, uh, Superman the Man of Steel, number 19, the third printing. And another copy of Superman the Man of Steel, fifth printing, number 18, one of my favorite books. And the last book I got to show is not really a comic book, but more one of the magazines. Uh, back in the day, in 1989, um, Monsters Attack, can't get it to reduce, there we go, Monsters Attack, uh, issue number one, beautiful John Severin cover, I always like John Severin's art, I mean, what he did with Mad Magazine and his uh, parody of movies, he always could capture uh, the image of any any celebrity in and twist it up into like a comical comic book form. But I was real happy to have this book. And that's basically all I have to show, guys. Um, I'm com finished. Uh, I'm caught up. And now it's the, comes the hard part. Like I said, I'm working on this room. It's going to be a month of Sundays before I'm done <laughs> doing this room. Time I get done this room, I'll be 80 years old. But, um... That's part of the fun of collecting, you know, constantly going through your collection, um, straightening things up, putting them in order. And I'm, I'm pretty anal about keeping mine in uh, type of uh, alphabetical order um, so I can get to whatever I need to get to or find whatever I need to find for having to dig through a ton of boxes for it. But as with everything, y'all guys be well. Be careful out there. Um, and that's it. Alright, thank you for watching. Thanks for the subscribers. Got a few new subscribers. I'm happy about that. Um, 
I've been subscribing to quite a bit of people. And um, just keep on, keep on. Keep on doing what y'all guys do. All right, it's Bad Avenger. I'm out.